Hello friend, welcome back to Toto Maintenance, welcome back to my shop. In this video we will go technical, we will discuss some problem which happens on Toyota made vehicles which are hybrid and that includes Lexus. And I'm assuming it will be written in the title of the video. It is about the code, the troubleshooting code P261B which stands for Coolant Pump B Control Circuit. And this problem is connected to this electric water pump which you find on these engines which are made it to that hybrid transaxle. The model of that engine is 2ZR FXE and it is in Toyota Prius is in the hybrid vehicles and also in the Lexus hybrid vehicles. Now, if you get this code, there are three possible problems. Most likely the problem is this water pump. Most likely the problem can be in the wiring harness. Very unlikely the problem will be with the vehicle's ECM. For example, this came out of the Lexus CT200H and the scenario was this. The vehicle slightly overheated once, it was intermittent problem and after that the computer, the check engine light was intermittently coming on and it was showing only this one code. P261B. Of course, the first step was to confirm that the relays and fuses in the engine bay box, the main box, which is on the driver's side, to check all the relays, test them, and make sure that these are okay. Then there is a connector here to the pump. So you can check if that is all good, you can visually see the wiring, but after that basically you are going on this part. And trust me, you will be not skipping any steps really, because it's becoming known that these last roughly those 100,000 miles and then they will start giving up. The only problem is that they are relatively costly, this from dealer cost approximately 300 bucks. When you get this new pump in your hands and you will grab this propeller here and spin it, it nicely freely spins as electric motor so it has a tu -tu 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 -tu, but you can clearly easily move it everything is free. On this one which was removed for the reason of the slow overheating and that coat Check the detail. So this is the propeller and I barely can turn it. But look on the inside. Observe the shaft of the motor. So basically what's happening here, the propeller separated from the shaft and the shaft cannot be moved. It seems to be seized. I'm not sure if you can see that notch on that shaft. I will grab it for you, right? Let's take a pliers, grab it, and observe if I can turn it. Well, it's completely seized. That electric motor, it's completely kaput, and that's why the computer was showing that code. So I wanted to make video about that and hope that it will help someone to faster troubleshoot possible problem with this electric pump. I hope you find it interesting and helpful in the future and please make sure you are subscribed. You know I have a lot of tech coming your way very often on this channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day my friend.